can't stop yawning. It's like 3 p.m. Oh my gosh. I in I am in need of a glow up. I haven't left the house in a week. I can't remember the last time I worked out. Did I say that already? Oh my gosh. <laughs> my sleep cycle is upside down. So I'm gonna glow the freak up for this video. And I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna go get a facial. I'm gonna get my eyebrows tattooed. I'm gonna get my nails done. I'm gonna try and do it all. So first stop is my brow appointment. First order of business is eyebrows. I found Cherry on an IG ad while rotting in bed and I just fell in love with her page. Here are some examples of her work and I just had to send through a message to book her in. A few weeks later, she flew into Sydney and is staying for a few months. So if you guys are in Sydney right now and you're a fan of her work, then definitely check her out. I was actually so scared because this is like, you know, permanent and I wasn't gonna see the results until like a week later, but we're just gonna trust the process. Fingers crossed, toes crossed and just hope for the best. And the pain was really not bad at all. The scratching sounds were like a little bit uncomfortable, but beauty is pain. <laughs> I'm doing gel extensions. Honestly, I thought acrylics were the only thing. Oh my god, my brows are so dark. It looks so good though. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna do gel. And this is the inspiration I showed her. I'm so excited. It's been so long since the last time I was in a salon, so. I'm feeling this glow up come together already guys. All right, let's go. Hey guys, let's talk about self-development and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So I am the type of person to get overwhelmed quite easily and what that looks like is I tend to be quite tense. I'm always thinking about what's next. I'm always like trying to prepare for like a situation. So I have a hard time living in the present moment, which is what I've been focusing on, which brings me to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes. They cover topics like illustration, graphic design, and photography but did you know that they also have classes on self-development? I've been taking a class called Writing for Self-Discovery by Yasmin Cheyenne and it's helped me to recognize patterns in my thoughts, break down unsettled feelings and identifying personal expectations that weren't even mine to begin with. Another class I finished recently is Memoir Journaling by Lana Blakely and it's made me realize how a mundane moment can become so rich through its often overlooked details. If you're interested in upskilling, finding a hobby or learning more about yourself then look no further. The first 500 people to click on the link down in the description box below can get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again to Skillshare for being this channel's first ever sponsor. I can't believe I am saying that and this would not be possible without you guys. So thank you so much for making my dream a reality. I don't like to show my toes, but they're looking cute and sort of to match my nails. Actually, they don't fully match. I just finished up at my pedicure and it was so good, but it's so awkward when I have to show my feet to somebody. So um, not used to it, but that was definitely a treat myself moment. I feel so good about my <laughs> toes. I don't know. Anyways, so next I am going to go to Sephora or Chanel to buy some makeup because I went to a color analysis. I will put up a link if you haven't seen that. And she recommended some makeup for me. So I'm going to pick some stuff up. So excited. This is the color and it's actually like really sheer, really light, so don't know, don't know, don't know. But you know what, I trust the color analyst, so I'm gonna get it. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I feel like I should get some more stuff. Good morning everybody, I am making myself oxy shirt as per usual, that's the routine. You see, as a part of the original plan for this video was I'm gonna go and do some Pilates, maybe even, maybe even some yoga. When I got my brows done, it didn't hit me that I cannot be sweating. So yeah, we're gonna scrap that idea and today I'm gonna go get my hair done. I wanna grow out my hair now because it's been a while since I last had any hair beyond my shoulder length and right now my hair is like really 
really thick which it's good if it's up in a bob but right now I just keep feeling all of this like heat around my neck so in an effort to grow out my hair I'm going to thin it out a little bit and also like I'm tired of my bangs. I think we can all relate to like having bangs one day and then just absolutely hating them the next, but you can't undo obviously having bangs. So I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Cheers. This drink matches my nails. layers but she said that because my hair is so short the layers would look very obvious so she helped me blend out my bangs because I cut them myself a little while back and so they're blending in much better and all in all everything is feeling extra light and nice it's actually my brother's birthday today so I'm also gonna go grab a cake at Black Star Pastry Uh, could I grab this size for the watermelon cake? Yeah. I'm back home. I have my first therapy appointment in four minutes. This wouldn't be a true glow up video if we didn't try to talk about mental health because mental health is a very important part of our overall health. I have no idea what to expect. I feel like we don't necessarily have to be going through anything to go through therapy, so I'm gonna try it out. I recently did go through a friendship breakup and through that situation, I feel like I learned so much about myself. You know, you don't know what you don't know. So I, I learned so much that I feel like I want to proactively seek more of that change and more learning about myself if that makes any sense so yeah oh hello I'm good thank you how are you <sighs> didn't expect to get that emotional so I was bawling my eyes out like eight minutes into the consultation Oh, that's my therapist. <laughs> Honestly, I really liked that. That was, I wouldn't say a lot of fun, but I am wanting to proactively look within. So look within myself, sorry. And I think that was a great way to just like uncover a bit of my childhood. And so she gave me a little bit of homework and I think things are gonna be, it's going to be good. <sighs> it's going to be good. So I'm going to go to therapy next week. Good morning everybody, my brows are starting to peel on this side and I can see the color that it's supposed to be and it's so exciting. I hope most of it will fall off soon so that I can do the glow up properly but if not we'll just have to do it as is and today I'm going to be getting eyelash extensions. I'm going to be going to my friend's salon. I don't have time to wash my hair so I'm going to use my favorite 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 Dry shampoo. <laughs> Done. I'm feeling a little bit sick, so I had to put on a mask. Okay, you're in focus. Say hi. If you guys are in Sydney, I will include a code that you can use to check out Julie's salon. So make sure you guys hit that description box and when I head on home now. <laughs> this would not be a glow up video without a skincare routine. So VT Cosmetics kindly sent through their Riedel Shot range, which if you guys are not aware, they are all the hype and all the craze right now. They're sold out number one on Olive Young and I think it was Amazon Japan as well. It is a micro needling treatment that you can do at home and you can see results overnight. I actually started using the product yesterday just to like test it out. I have to say like there's almost no redness right now and my skin tone is really even so I'm really happy with how my skin looks right now. Okay wait actually before I get into that I'm going to put on the aftercare treatment for my brows. I need to do this for seven days so and if you guys can see like the tail end of this brow is basically like Gone. We have three main products, which is the Riedel Shot 100. This is the one that you would start off 
with because it does give you like a tingling sensation and then you can work your way up. So after using the Riedel Shot 100, you can go up to the Riedel Shot 300 and then they also do have the Riedel Shot 700. I'm still on day two, so I'm still going to be using the Riedel Shot 100. One pump this side, one pump on this side, one pump here, one pump there, la la la. Basically, wherever I'm rubbing, I'm basically pressing the needles into my skin and I'm feeling the tingling. It's kind of like when you have too much pineapple and then your tongue starts to feel a bit like needly, if you know what I mean. But it's really like not too painful. I would say the pain is at around like a 2 out of 10. Also, if you guys are going to try out these products, please only use them during the night because they can make your skin overly sensitive if it is exposed to UV. So only night routine guys. I'm going to use a moisturizer to lock it in but before I do that I'm going to use a mask. Wait I don't think it's supposed to be like this. Also guys I feel like a little bit bummed out because when I got my brows done I didn't actually look forward enough and I realized that after I got my brows done I for one cannot get my facial because these guys are still healing and I can't be putting any oily products on it so I'm like dang you know no um, facial and then I was like oh no the aftercare says I can't sweat so I can't even go to Pilates I'm like this glow up video is doomed but you know, we're here and VT Cosmetics is here to save the day. We're doing an at-home facial now. Oh my gosh. I hope this works. And that is the end of the skincare routine. I will see you guys tomorrow for the end of the glow up. Good morning, everybody. It is the final day of the transformation. And girl needs to leave in 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to hurry this up. Okay, usually I would like to put these toner pads on my cheeks. But, you know, I decided not to do it. But actually, maybe, maybe I will. Also, please forgive me, the clouds are out today, so the sun is going to be going in and out. Okay, that was like really not long at all, but I'm just going <laughs> to try and use this as a low-key moisturizer. Okay, well, I'm feeling so good about myself because my brows are coming together and then like my eyelashes, I feel so put together and my nails. What's next? I'm going to use this La Mer Eye Concentrate. I like to just use this under the eyes. I feel like it sort of helps to like plump up my under eyes. After that, I'm going to use this they're both sample sizes, by the way. I'm going to be using this moisturizing cream also from La Mer. Next, I'm going to be using the sunscreen. If I have to be completely honest, I still don't like using sunscreen. Like, you know, skincare girlies come at me, but I will only use sunscreen if, <laughs> like, say now. And I'm also going on a picnic, so I guess today is a more important day to use sunscreen, but otherwise, I am indoors, I know it's not an excuse. Next, I'm gonna be using this Givenchy primer that I got in Japan on my last day, actually. After using primer, I like to go in with a concealer. This is mainly just for my under eyes and my nose area because I have redness. Oh, I should wait for that to sit. The girl is going to take care of her lips. As always, that is way too much. After concealer, I like to use my cushion. This is the La Mer one in pink porcelain. And honestly, best freaking cushion in the world. I am almost out of it though, so never mind. There's still some life in there. I just haven't been pressing hard enough. I like to immediately set that with this other Givenchy loose powder that I also got in Japan. I'm going to use the blush that I got from Mecca. So this is the NARS blush. This is the blush that my color analyst recommended to me and it is in the shade Sex Appeal, I think. Ooh, she's cute. I don't have a blush brush with me right now. No. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We don't talk about this. I'm going to use my Chanel powder brush. <laughs> it's the only brush I have right now that's of this size. Oh my gosh. Girl is looking very sun-kissed. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using my- <gasps> I just- 
freaking jabbed my nail into one of the freaking pans. No! Anyways, I'm gonna be using Better Than Palette in Peony Nude Garden. If I have to be honest, I don't know if anything is actually happening right now because it's so bright. Damn. These lashes are a little bit thicker than what I'm used to. Give them a little brush through. Honestly, I only really get lash extensions if I feel like my eyes are extra dry and I need a reason to stop rubbing my eyes. So yeah, when I get eyelash extensions, it helps me to not go like this, you know? I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner. I'm gonna be using the Clio Kill Black Superproof Brush Liner. I cannot do my eyeliner on the viewfinder, so. And that, guys, concludes the glow up video. I had so much fun going to all these places and getting all these things done. I couldn't have felt more princess-like over the past few days. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Hopefully I can do another one pretty soon. And yeah, I really have to go. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.